she wanted to do something uh, with the property to keep it as a green belt in Wanakee area because she knew that it was uh, going to expand. She did not want this to be turned into a housing development, if, if, if I can use that term. The Schumacher Farm Park dates back to 1892 when Henry Schumacher purchased 40 acres from Dr. Wheeler for $2,100. In 1907, Henry started building a house. In 1908, he married Evelyn Busby, finished the house, and then in 1908, built the barn. Their only child, Marcella, was born in 1910. Marcella had the opportunity that most girls didn't. Uh, her parents were willing to send her to college back in uh, the 20s. So in 1927, when she graduated from Wanakee High, uh, they enrolled her in the first class of Edgewood Junior College, from which she graduated in 1929. Her majors were English and uh, music. She was in the first graduating class, 1929. Then she enrolled in the University of Wisconsin, graduated in 1931 with a Bachelor of Arts, and finished her Master's in Political Science in 1933. In the uh, middle of the 50s, after Marcella had returned to school to obtain her teacher certificate, she and her mother were interested in moving to the Southwest. However, uh, her advisor suggested that she talk to the Wanakee School District because they had an opening, which Marcella did, and they hired her, and she and her mother stayed in Wanakee. It could, she could have, back in the middle 50s, sold the property and uh, gone to live in another part of the country. Influenced by her parents, history, children, and love of nature, Marcella will eventually donate the farm as a living history museum and natural conservancy. Marcella's vision was kids from school could come out here and see a working 1920-1930 farm. It's an interesting period in agriculture because that's the time that mechanization really began to happen. Farmers had tractors rather than horses, so at the very early part of, of that, 1910, 1920, would have been farmed with horses. 30 to 40 would have been farmed with tractors. And she wanted this to be a working farm, and uh, the heritage fest that they have and so on kind of speaks to that. Well, howdy partner, this is the Schumacher Heritage Festival. The Heritage Fest has demos going all day long like this threshing demo behind me. The Heritage Fest and what the friends are doing around here with the gardens, uh, Heritage Garden and so on, also speaks to that. So it's quite a gift to have given to the community. Her vision was to have a 1920s, 1930s farmstead here that could be used for school programs and so on and educate the kids in the area as to what their culture was and where it came from. Farmers grouped together when it came time to thresh and they would work for each other. And at the end of the day, the women folk at that farm would create what's called a thresherman's dinner. And that thresherman's dinner was a meat and potatoes special 
with apple pies and all kinds of good things to eat. And it was a social event as well as anything else. This lasted until about 1940. And as a result, we've lost a lot of the sociability and a lot of the camaraderie and the good eating that took place back in the 1920s and 30s. But we are very, very efficient about doing it. Tobacco was a popular crop for farmers in the 20s and 30s. Growers have pretty much vanished since then, but it was one of the crops of the day. This is a tobacco crop that we're illustrating here that was growing on the Schumacher farm back in the 1900s and maybe before 20s, 30s, 40s. And now we're uh, harvesting it at this point. We will uh, let it wilt here a few hours in, uh, in the sun so it's not so brittle and it'll be speared on lats and taken to a shed to hang for 60 to 90 days for drying out and then we wait for what we call case weather, damp weather to soften the leaves so you can take it down and begin to strip it. My father used to crawl up and oil the windmill for Schumachers. And then also my brother, older brother and I, he was four years older than me, would mow the lawn for them regularly and get about 50 cents or so. My dad also used to steam tobacco beds for the Schumachers and I believe he thrashed and shredded corn Filled silo. He gave me two machines. They was both wrecked. And uh, Mr. Schumacher says, if you can fix them, you can have them. Because he knew I was a mechanic. That I could do pretty near everything. And there was a gear that was wore out and and I put a new one in, and that's all it took to fix it. And it wasn't too long then, and then he, he uh, got sick. I think he passed away. When her dad died, uh, my wife, she went and cut a bunch of wheat out and made a bouquet out of it and put it on his, on his uh, casket. And why, Marcella just couldn't get over it. She was so happy that, we done, that my wife done that. Marcella gave uh, piano lessons to some folks that uh, she really liked. And Ruth Stauffer was a friend of hers. Lucille Coltis was a friend of hers. I met Marcella when I was in high school and they used to live down the hill from Marcella. And we were real friends because my mother was a friend of Marcella. Um, Marcella's mother lived, at that time, lived here with her in the house. And um, she was getting older and it was hard to leave her alone. And mother decided to um, do an exchange for mother staying with her mother while she was gone and out of the house, she would give me piano lessons. So I took piano lessons from Marcella, and Marcella was a very good piano player. She played beautifully. That's the same piano that I took lessons on <laughs> many years ago. Marcella took a lot of beautiful trips uh, in Europe, and my memory is coming up here. She would have a slide projector, and we would come and we would listen to her talk about her trips and explain all her slides and her pictures. And because Marcella was a history teacher, she could just tell you so much history and about the slides. She just knew so much more than the average person would know about the pictures. And so I've grown up, you know, with her being around as a teacher and a friend, and then learning piano lessons from Marcella. She talked to my mother many years ago about. Um, when before they were going to put into a park or an historical spot. Uh, story behind donating this farm was very interesting. She was being pestered by the superintendent of the Wanaki school system to sell her property because the school wanted it for uh, athletic fields. At one point, now this is Mar Marcella's story. He told Marcella, 
that there are ways to make you sell. And at that point, she started pursuing donating this to the county. And once she donated it to the county, it hit the Wanakee Tribune. And she took a copy of the Tribune, walked into the superintendent's office, threw the newspaper with the article down in front of him and said, now let's see you get it, and turned around and walked out. And as a consequence, the county got this as a county park. They've added to it several times uh, with land next to it that the county purchased. Marcella gifted the farm to the Dane County Parks in 1978. The Friends of Schumacher Farm Park maintain the buildings and land, which includes restored prairie with grasses, flowers, and walking trails. The Heritage Garden is planted each year with vegetables. Corn, oats, and wheat are grown on the farmland. The crops are harvested and later processed, threshed during the Heritage Fest for families to see how it was done in the 20s and 30s. The fest is an educational event filled with threshing demonstrations, live demonstrations of various hand tools from the time period, and live entertainment on the side. Hand tools from the time period. and entertainment. Throughout the year, there are other demonstrations and educational events, such as springtime tree tapping for sap to make maple syrup demonstrations on cooking with the old wood-fired stoves, and prairie burns to maintain the prairie. farm pulls her back uh, because it was peace and serenity and she liked that even though she was sometimes terrified here in the house uh, at night uh, you know because the, the trees would scratch the side of the house or you know or she'd hear a screech of brakes out in front etc 
1962, I started teaching science in Wanakee High School, and she was the history teacher and Spanish teacher. And we just got to know one another. I live in Westport, she lives in Westport, and we got to be friends. Yeah, she'd call sometimes in the middle of the night. One uh, particular incident was really funny. Somebody who came to her door and she says was just muttering and mumbling in the middle of the night. And she was very, very frightened and kept the door locked and of course wouldn't let him in. And she's, I can't understand a word he was saying. Well, he was speaking Spanish and she was a Spanish teacher and she was uh, enough concerned that that didn't even kick in on her. Somebody that got in an accident out on the street was not seriously hurt and walked to the nearest house. As soon as I got there, I don't speak Spanish, but I heard him talking. I said, Marcella, he's talking Spanish. He's speaking Spanish. She switched to Spanish and everything worked out from there from that, that point forward. And because she lived out in the country, she lived alone, she was always afraid of what was going to happen, somebody walking in on her and so on. So that was always in the back of, back of her mind. And, that's why very often, as I say, in the middle of the night I'd get a call and I always came over. Marcella's love for this hill is in her book, the very last page. There's no better way can I pass on my joy of living to future generations than by offering to them the medium that provided such stimulation and joy to me. Through the efforts and generosity of Dane County Parks Department, and the Friends of Schumacher Farm, I trust that visitors to the farm will develop a love and appreciation of the beauty and the warmth of nature and absorb it, its very essence into their souls. This love will gently but firmly mold them in this magnificent drama called life. She probably wanted to do something to honor her parents because they had given her so much.